So let's say you want to sell a single product on your website. There's not many options that can do a very good job of this, but I found a way which is very creative and amazing that you can do with Fluent CRM. So the idea for this project is we are going to set up a landing page for an ebook that we're going to be selling for $27. Now, after they've made the purchase, we need to take them to the thank you page where they're going to go ahead and download the ebook. So all this is going to be set using Fluent Forms. So Fluent Forms is very powerful. I have a link to that in the video description below. So right now, as we speak, there's a discount. So go ahead and uh, check it out. And this form can be used for so many things. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how to add payments onto your website. Let's dive in. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to download our plugins and install them and set everything up. So over here, I'm on my WordPress admin dashboard. So I need to come over here now to plugins. Click here, click on add new. So the first plugin here is going to be free. So I'm going to uh, search for Fluent Forms. So here it is, I'm gonna click install now. And then next we need to click on activate. So now our form has been activated. Okay, so we've installed our plugin and activated it. So this plugin here is free. It still can do forms and all of that, but the extra features that we need are going to be in the pro version. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go in and install the pro version. All right, so over here on our site, uh, what I need to do now is, in fact, I have a link here in my description and this will take you now to Fluent Forms. They do have a lifetime deal and this is the 4th of July special discount, 30% off. So this will give you a fantastic discount. All right, so let's say you've gone ahead, you've purchased this. The next step now is to install the plugin. Okay, so I've gone ahead and purchased it and I've also downloaded it onto my computer. So the next step now is to install it on my site. So over here on my site, I just need to click on add new. So here is my pro version in my downloads folder. So I'm just gonna drag this over to the side, click on upload plugin, and then I'm just gonna drag and drop it here. And here it is, Fluent Flow, Fluent Forms Pro, drag it over here, click install, and now the pro version is going to be installed. I'm gonna activate the plugin. So once you've added your license key, the next step now is to set up your payment processor. So this step here is very important because without this, you will not be able to collect your payments. So I'm gonna set this up now by coming over here to global settings, payment settings, and then I'm gonna enable Fluent Forms payment. So here we have uh, several options. So you can add your business name here. So let's just call this Mac. And I can also add my business address here. You can also upload your logo. And the currency here, I'm gonna set this to uh, United States dollar. And then comma separated, I'll just leave this as it is. Hit save settings. Now we need to move on to the next part. So this is where if you want to set up your Stripe payments, uh, this is uh, what allows you to collect uh, your credit card or debit card payments. So this is where you can use Stripe, but you can also use uh, PayPal. And I'm sure a lot of you know about PayPal. So this is where you set it. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to skip um, Stripe here and go to PayPal. This one here is much easier to set up because here I need to go and add my API keys and so on. So that's just for the sake of this tutorial. All right, so here I'm gonna say enable right? And then I'm going to add my PayPal email address and I can now set it to live mode. So live mode means this is ready now to take your payments. And then I'm going to hit save PayPal settings. So that is all set up. I'm now ready to add my products onto my form. So what I'm going to do now next is to go in and design the form that we need to take the payments. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So back over here now, I'm going to come to new form and I'm going to create a basic form. So I'm gonna click here on create form and I'm just gonna drag and drop all my fields that I need to add over here. So I'm going to need a name field, double click on that. And next I'm going to need an email field. So you can double click or click once. So I've got my first name, last name, email address, so now if I go all the way down here to my payment fields, this is where I can now add my information. So first of all, I'm gonna click here to add my payment field. So this is where you want to decide how much your, in this case, ebook is going to be. So I'm going to uh, say, okay, you know what? This is going to be say $27. And then I'm gonna say required. No, in fact, there's no need to put required there. So here you can, you can see it says payment item. So I'm just gonna say, baking ebook. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. 
So let's go back over here to our fields. And now I'm going to add my payment method. I'm going to click once on it. And you can see here it says payment method, uh, PayPal. So I can go in as well. And um, I can then say here, pay with PayPal. In fact, it says here, pay with PayPal. So I'm going to leave this as it is because our PayPal now has been connected. Now, if I had Stripe over here, the Stripe will also show, which means I can also add it here as an option. Okay, back to our fields here. So let's say you wanted to sell more than one ebook and you want to allow this option. I can just click here on item quantity and I'm just going to drag it up here. Okay, so you can choose how many you want to buy here and then it will calculate and then it will take you to the next step. Next, I need to uh, come over here to this button and customize this because the text here needs to say um, make a payment. I'm going to make this large and I am pretty happy with this. So the next step now is to just save this form and we are going to do a quick test and see what this looks like. So I'm going to open this in a new tab and here is our form. So here you can see it says baking ebook price $27. Uh, so I can then choose my quantity here. Uh, let's say three. So since we're selling one ebook, we're not going to need the quantity uh, option here. So we're going to get rid of this quantity and finish off our form design. So I'm going to delete this, confirm. So all I have now is my baking ebook, $27. My payment method is here as well and my button to make a payment. Excellent. So now I'm going to save the form and uh, view this design in a new tab. So this is what it looks like. First name, last name, email address. And then uh, this is now connected to PayPal, by the way, which means if I click here on make a payment, this should redirect to PayPal. So what I can also do here is I can come over here to the form style and I can do a few changes here. I can change it to modern and bold. I can change this to light. So there's a few here we can choose from. I like bootstrap and I can also do a few things here. And that is over here, we can make some more styles. We can choose the form margin, top and bottom, and we can enable the border here if we need to. And we can further stylize this, but we're not going to do this right now. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And uh, what we're going to need now is our short code for our form, which is right here on the top. So I'm going to copy that. Now it's time to go in and start designing my landing page. All right, so to do that, I am just going to uh, come over here to my pages, click on add new, and we're just going to call this baking ebook, use the Diffy Builder. So in your case, if you use any other page builders, it's fine. This works with any page builder, but I prefer using Divi because Divi is easier to use. And I have a lot of uh, templates that can help you get up and running fast when it comes to your design. All right, so over here now, I'm going to click on build from scratch. And we are now going to choose two columns. All right, so on the first column here, I'm going to add an image. And select it. So I already have an image that I created, which is my media library. And here it is. It's called Amazing Recipes. Click Upload. And here it is. This is just an image I created and uh, just added some text here just to make it stand out. So this is the ebook that I'll be selling. So over here on the right, I need to add my form. So I am going to search for my text module. I'm going to select it and go to text here. Paste my short code. And here we go. Now we have our form in place, which is fantastic. So what we can do now is we can further stylize this and make this look really nice. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I'm going to come over here to the background and choose a background for this form. So I'm going to go with something quite light because that's a bit too much. Okay, so uh, we can now play around with our colors. So I think this will work okay. Next, I am now going to go into the design tab. So here we need to add some breathing space to the form. So let's start by adding padding of 30 all around. There we go. So now our form is looking much better. Next on the border here, I'm going to set this to five uh, pixels just to give us some rounded corners on our form here. And I think that's looking great now. I'm going to save that. So, so far we have our image here and also have our form where people can add their first name, last name, email address, and then make a payment. All right. So we might also need some description over here that go with this um, form. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and uh, let's search for our text module. Okay, great. 
So I'm just going to say amazing ebook. So I'm just going to add some dummy text in here to go with my ebook. And then I'm going to save, drag this to the top. Okay, so that's looking great. So what I'm going to do next now is to go ahead and remove the footer and the header of this page. Let's go ahead and do that. So this can be done now in our theme builder. So I'm going to save this and exit the visual builder. Okay, so as you can see, this is the baking ebook. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come all the way down here to Divi and click on theme builder. Next, I'm going to create a new template and this is a, is for a specific page and my page here is called baking ebook i'm going to create the template and all i have to do is to remove the header and the footer save this so now let's take a look and see what this looks like so i'm going to refresh okay so when we refresh this we notice that uh, now we have our header and footer all gone. So the main focus now is going to be on this particular page where people can come and purchase the product. Okay, so now that we have this all set, it's looking great. The next step now is to create the thank you page or we need to find a way for the person that has bought this to download the product. So this is very important. There's two ways you can do it. You can send an automated email or you can just, um, after they make a payment, you can send them to a thank you page. So I think the easiest way in this case is to send them to a thank you page where they can download the product. All right, let's do that. So back over here, we're going to add a new page. So I'm going to click on add new. We're going to call this thank you. Use Divi Builder. So for this, we are going to build from scratch. Single column. And I'm going to use a blurb for this. I'm going to select that. Now I can just say download. Okay, I can just say thank you. Download your recipe. Or oh, download your recipe ebook. Okay, so that's looking great. Next, I'm going to come over here to design. And we want to make sure our text is all centered. And over here we have an image. So we don't want to have an image there. So let's go back and change this. I need an icon instead. So I'm going to say use icon. So there's several icons we can use here. We can use a check mark or we can use a happy face. So it's up to you what you want to use. So I am going to use this icon. Now let's change the color. So I'm going to come over here to design, image, and icon. And let's first of all add a circle. So the color I'm going to use is going to be uh, this orange here. And then the icon color, let's choose something dark. Okay, I think that looks great. So uh, if this is way too big you can come over here to use icon uh, font size and then reduce the size like that so i'm going to reduce it down to about say 28 and i'm pretty happy with that and save next we're going to need a button so i'm going to click here on this plus button here and search for my button module here we go and uh, first of all we're going to center this oh in fact we can say download now and then over here on the link, now this is very, very important. We need the link to the uh, PDF of this uh, of this ebook. So I've already gone ahead and uh, uploaded the ebook uh, in a zip format. So let's go ahead and find it. So I'm going to come over here to my media library. And here it is. So all you have to do is to click once on it. And then over here, you want to copy the file URL. Okay. Back over here, this is what you want to paste here on the button URL. So this is where you click and then it downloads uh, the. Um, so if you click this button here, it's going to download the ebook. All right. So that's in place now. I'm going to come over here to design alignment and make sure everything is centered like that. And then save. Next, I'm just going to give this. Um, some padding. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, design, and then I'm going to come over here to spacing and then top and bottom padding. I'm going to set this to say seven VW. Okay. So I'm going to do it both to the top and the bottom. So if you need more, you can just uh, add it like that. It's pretty straightforward. And then I'm going to save. Okay. Again, we have this header and footer. I think this is in the way. So just like what we did before, we're going to need to uh, go in and uh, remove our header and footer. Okay, so I'm going to exit the Visual Builder for now and copy this URL because we are going to need this URL here as the confirmation when they have uh, purchased it. Now, let's just test and see 
if this download is working. All right, so back over here, if I click now on download now, boom, you can see here my ebook is downloaded. It's fast, it's quick, very straightforward. Excellent. So what I'm going to do next now is to uh, remove the header and footer of the thank you page. So back over here. In fact, we need to leave this open. So back over here to Divi Theme Builder. We're going to add another template. Click here on this plus button. And this is for a specific page. And it's the thank you page. Create template. So we want to remove the header and the footer. So we're going to save this. So now when we come back to this page and refresh, there we go. So now we have our thank you. And this is looking cool. So let me just copy this URL one more time. As I mentioned, we're going to need this in a moment. So these are two pages. So the idea is once they land here, they add their first name, last name, email address, make a payment. It should now take, take them to the thank you page where they can go ahead and download it. All right. So let's set this up now. So back over here to Fluent Forms Pro, we need to now go to all forms. We're going to click on edit and then we're going to go into settings and integrations okay so for our form settings here we are now going to come over here to uh, to a redirect url and we can redirect over here like that or what you can do is we can leave this to say thank you for your message we'll get in touch with you shortly and if we enable double opt-in this is where now we can um, send them the link to the actual PDF. Okay, so in this case here, I'm going to keep things very, very simple. I am just going to redirect to a custom URL after they've bought it. And here it is. This is the thank you page. I'm going to hit save settings. So the moment of truth, it's time now to test our form and see if this form is going to work. All right, so back over here now. Uh, in fact, let me get myself out of the way here. So let's say your visitor has landed on this page, add in the first name. Okay, so that's my first name, last name, email address. And now it's time to make the payment. So if I click on make a payment, this should now take me to PayPal. And here we go. And you can see here on the top, we have the price. And if I log in, make a payment, this will then redirect me to the thank you page. So as you can see, this is how easy it is. I know it took us a bit of time to go in and customize all this and set up the pages, but this is the easiest way to create a page where you can sell a single product on your website using Fluent Forms. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.